Harry Maguire. Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA channel on YouTube and today we are starting the Harry Maguire career mode. This idea came from someone in one of my live streams but I cannot remember your name so I apologise but it's a good idea I wrote it down and here it is. So basically the premise is we're making Harry Maguire right here. If you need any of the stuff just pause the video or find the YouTube videos. Loads of people have made Harry Maguire in FIFA so just check them out or pause it wherever you need to. And we are going to try and play for every team Harry Maguire has played for. So we're starting at Sheffield United where he began his career. Hopefully we get a transfer to Hull City, then Leicester City, then Man United. It's all going to be a bit lucky to be honest. I'm going to try my best to go through everyone. If I get a transfer offer to go to any of the teams that he has played for, I will accept it straight away and I'm going to work my way through and hopefully we get to everyone. It doesn't necessarily have to be in order. But I do need your help whether we decide to do this live commentary or postcom. The first episode is going to be postcom, but I feel like I want to make this series a little more casual, a lot more fun, just have some fun with messing around as I'm playing the game. There's a lot of times I was just screaming that I was a brick wall as I blocked stuff or head stuff away. So it may be a bit more fun to listen to it live. Maybe I'll try the next episode live com and hopefully you can just tell me which ones you prefer. And last but not least, if you do enjoy this episode, let me know in the comments, leave a like on the video, subscribe as well. We're so close to 2000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy stuff. The channel has been unstoppable at the moment. You show me so much love and I really do appreciate it. And hopefully I can repay that with more content that you will enjoy. So we're coming to the end of the character creation here and I think he really does look like Harry Maguire. It doesn't quite have the bulk to him or the square head but he kind of looks like him. The run might not be perfect either but I feel like he runs like a tank so we're going to keep it at that anyway. And now we're moving on to the first game of Harry Maguire's career against Granada and we have about 10 minutes to prove our worth and the first thing we do is mess up with a diving tackle. Keeper makes a save. Look at this for a run around. I do get stuck in here, get a tackle and that is all that happened in the whole game. Or the last 10 minutes. Nil nil draw. And now moving on to the next game we get another 10 minutes to perform. And a lot doesn't really happen. I do get a block here. Standing there. Brick walling it up. They do get another opportunity from that though. But it doesn't matter. We create an opportunity for McBurney with a little shot. And their keeper makes an easy save. But here I'm looking at this technique. Look at the skill moves here. Composure at its finest right there. Pass the ball out. Last two minutes of the game. McBurney putting it after Burners on. Running into the box. Hits it at the near post. But the keeper is there to make the save. They have a corner in the last minute of this game. They whip it in. But who is there? The main man. The solid brick wall at the back. Harry Maguire. But they keep it going. They recycle the ball back into the box. And I'm there again with the block. Take the ball to the gut but again it goes out for a corner so they're whipping in another one and I am in the six yard box waiting for it waiting to pounce they whip it in I am there once more clear the ball away this time it's much better but again they recycle it we do get the ball back and I go on charge and run but there's not enough time to continue it's a nil nil draw once more moving on to the third game and I get just under half an hour to prove myself this time and look at that for an interception dive in gather that ball up and we get our first goal of the episode it's sharp I believe Billy sharp with the goal, it's a beautiful goal to be fair to him. He gets on his little rowboat, gets everyone involved as well. Goes on a little rowing trip. Row, row, row your boat and all that good stuff. Row, row, row. But this is what's going to be my biggest concern with the whole series is watching the goals because it's hard for me to keep the camera on the ball when we have opportunities. As he cuts his goal, look at that left footed, finds that not quite top corner, centre of the goal, keeper probably should have saved it. But yeah, the camera angle is going to be a little bit weird, but there's always going to be replays that you can see. Again, here I am making that tackle. I just get stuck into every challenge I can make. I am playing centre of a back three, so I'm going to be everywhere getting stuck in. I can dive into challenges every time I want to. Again, here I am in the midfield. I win the header we get an opportunity from it I think it's Billy Sharp again this time the keeper makes a fantastic save from the corner but the keeper is there now into a horror film look at this I'm charging down this man's running for his life but I get to him get the ball with a sliding tackle it's a good tackle as well to be fair and we get one more opportunity McBurney just charging through the midfield and the defence and he finds the back of the net it's not even McBurney who is this man I don't know who it is I can't see the name I apologise number 29 that's a great goal this game has put the bed all over now and that is going to be the first win of Harry Maguire's career 2-0 against Tulu in the pre-season tournament. And now we move on to the good stuff. We get subbed on against Preston with about half an hour left of this game. 1-0 down as well. We need to perform here. And the first challenge comes from the corner of the pitch. But I get stuck in. It goes out for a throw-in. They take this throw-in as well. And I'm there taking control of this corner. I lose my man a little bit, but he messes up. And a bit of skill move here. A bit of composure. It's holding up the man. Get that ball out into the midfield. The keeper makes a good save. But now we're back to me in the press 
massive man is charging at me. I mistimed my tackle. He's leaving me in his dust, but the pace is there. I'm closing him down. He panics, pass it across, but I come across once more. Slide tackle, get the ball back. That's a good recovery challenge. And again, I'm out of position. This time they hit the post from a long range effort. But look at this for a goal. The volley by Brewster. He gets taken out as well. But that is composure at its finest. He gets his leg chopped out. But look at it, he just doesn't know what to do with himself. He's running He's running away from me. Harry Maguire's chasing him down. He's running for his life. He can't get away from Harry Maguire. I'm too quick for you. But this is such a good goal. The ball is lofted into it. And look at that. He gets kicked so hard and somehow still scores from it. It's brutal, this challenge. Sweep the leg. He goes flying, he's pretty much horizontal at this moment, crazy stuff, but there's the goal, all tied up, they get a corner, they whip it in, this time I do make a little bit of a mistake, not follow a man, but there we go, we get a draw in the first game of the championship season, and now we move on to the next game against West Brom, and I come on as a sub again, the manager is still not trusting me, I don't know why, look at that for a block, another block, I get a tackle, I'm charging forward now, this ball is mine, close down the defender, I get done a little bit, but intercept the ball as well, pass it on and I messed up the pass but I get the ball back again another through ball and this time the striker doesn't get to it West Brom get their first attack and look at that for an interception my long legs coming in clutch this time and my head here massive head massive header we get a corner whipped in I win the header but my head is too square it bounces off a corner goes just over the crossbar so unfortunate I need to shave down my head to make it a little bit more rounder and this is pure composure. Look at that for a touch and a pass out. The striker had no idea who he's messing with. And if you ever see me out of position like this, just know we do concede from it. But just know if I'm out of position, I'm far up the pitch. I went on a darting run. I skilled like four or five people. I passed the ball and then we lost it. Okay, It's not the fact that I called for the ball and then misplaced the pass or got tackled. It's the other player's fault. I did everything right, but we do lose the game in the 90th minute. I was miles out of position. But finally, Harry Maguire has has earned his first start in the Carabao Cup against Northampton. What a day this is. Everyone that's watching this, you have been here for history in the making. Three minutes into the game, our first opportunity gets blocked. The ball is still bouncing around in the box. Header's not won. And again, McBurney wins this header. He finds the back of the net. I'm watching from long range. I don't know how to sort this out. I need to be a bit more closer to the action, but I will get better at it. But McBurney is there, and you'll see from this, the ball is all over the place. No one actually wins a header or a good header. The ball just bounces around. Another good block from the other one. And somehow McBurney jumps higher than the defender he's about a foot shorter than him wins the ball and the keeper doesn't really do anything he's in no man's land can't get to it very poor from everyone in the defense except the man that blocked everything six minutes now and we get another goal this time it's norwood with the goal he runs off celebrating he's running away from me everyone's running away from me i like to do this chase after the player but this is a very well worked goal from the right side of the pitch a little pass inwards the touch from bruce and he plays it through the norwood no one near him and he just drills it past the keeper he can't close down the angle quick enough norwood is there just powers it keeper unfortunate but there we go two nil already i am here giving a striker no time at all pounce on him our midfielder pounce on the other player i charge up the field we lose the ball but the goalkeeper kicks up but I'm in the midfield this time I win the header down to our striker he loses the ball back in the midfield I'm there for the tackle again leave the man on the floor try to go for a long range shot then Brewster gets in my way it would have been an absolute screamer again I just pounce it give no time look at this interception tackle just in the way like a brick wall I am the best defender in the world right now cut to the 33rd minute and Ollie Norwood is there again and this one is an absolute belter top bins that is a crazy finish what a finish it's pretty much a carbon copy of the last goal he has scored but Bernie leaves him off this time he's just outside the box he wellies that into the top corner keeper no chance that's top bins top echelons that's a crazy finish making it 3-0 just before half time I get caught out of position but luckily for me the goalkeeper is there the ball's just overplayed a little bit too hard runs through to the goalkeeper he gathers that up no troubles at all Moving on to the second half, and it's business as usual. Look at that for an interception. I just charge in front of everyone. Don't give him any time on the ball. Put him under pressure. Just being super solid at the back, and this is what happens. We score another goal because of how good I am defensively. This time, it is Billy Sharp. It's hard to see from how far away it is, but again, the midfielder plays the ball into the box. Little left, one twosies, and Sharp just wails it past the keeper. The keeper is a little bit suspicious. He does hit it quite hard, but he's there 
doesn't have to move too much, he just flails his hands at it, concedes another one, that's 4-0 now, we are showing no mercy here, and I'm showing no mercy with the tackles again, get stuck in, win that ball back, lay the ball off and go on a little charge, I love doing this, I don't know why, I just sprint past everyone, I charge it into the box now, defenders no one there, hit across it a bit, the keeper makes a save, one hand, it's a good save, but I am unlucky not to score here. And look again, I just do not give him any time at all on that ball. Win the ball back. I don't actually get a tackle bonus for that one. Again, I'm there charging through, pushing him out the way, getting that ball back. Now there's only seven minutes left of this game and Norwood is in the box and no one is closing him down at all. Look at the time he has. He passed the sharp. He does a spin shot, making it 5-0. That is ridiculous. What are the Northampton defence doing here? Norwood could literally set up camp here. Look at the space. There's no one within like a mile of him and he lays it off to Sharp who shows composure the spinning shot this game has just been put to bed big time Northampton do not want anything to do with us that's a ridiculous finish by the way not even facing the goal it's still not over for Northampton McBurney charging past every defender no one near him activated the burners left him in his dust he finds the back of the net making it 6-0 just blow the whistle ref game over just put him out there misery look at the pace of him Ollie McBurney and just gets into the box and chooses to smash it past the keeper. No chance for him. Since we're winning by so much, I decide to charge into the box. Harry Maguire! And with it completely, that's a golden opportunity to get the first goal of Harry Maguire's career. And I just completely skew it past the post. It's pretty close to be fair to me. I went for power, but there we go. 6-0, Northampton put to bed. Game over. What a performance from myself. Before we end, I just want to show you where I've been putting my points. Everything has gone into defending at the moment, and I think I'm going to keep it that way until I'm the best defender ever. But that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on. And as always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.